What's going on guys? Oh, Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. Crow, shut up when I'm introing! Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, obviously. Uh, we're back with Param Crow on his series Draft Wars. Had the pleasure of doing this a lot last year and we're finally back. It's honestly my fault because I just didn't go to, you know, Crow and say, hey, let's do this right now. And we're like, hey, we should do this. And then we're like, yeah, for sure. And then it never happened because uh, I'm yeah, the worst. Bang out. Yeah, let's just bang, do dude. It. Is it you say bang or bang out? Either way. Either way. Either way. <laughs> uh, but we are on Draft Wars. Make sure to check out Crow's channel for sure. If you want NCAA Dynasty, if you want Madden franchise, relocation franchise at that. He's a great channel for it. He does a lot of what I do. Uh, just probably better with editing and whatnot. Uh, but today we are on Draft Wars. If you guys are unfamiliar with the rules, it's very easy. Uh, you know, you go through scouting and then it's just round by round with the picks from that team. You draft the player and if they're better in true talent, you take the round best of seven. But there's a twist today. What is that twist, Crow? What do we do on your channel? Well, on our channel, if you want to come check it out, or my channel, sorry. We did the Big Ten versus the Big 12. I'm a Michigan State supporter. He's a Texas supporter. Makes sense. We noticed a lot of ACC and SEC schools. So today we've decided to do Crow on SEC, Bengus on the ACC. It's going to be just all Big 12 and Big 10 now that we're actually doing this, but I am scrolling through the teams. Obviously, when you're doing this, you want a worse team, so you have a higher draft pick, so you can take, you know, whoever you want. But I am ready when you are. All right, well, let's go ahead and say stop. Okay, great. I got the New England Patriots. <laughs> So, one of the best teams okay, in the game. Yeah, That's dude. absolutely terrible. But uh, we'll go ahead and get Crow's team decided. Bro, I, I am dying. It's in my Discord. Well, this time the Redskins put a spy on Dak Prescott. He starts to come and then he pulls out. And he's, his eyes are just locked. He starts Wait. to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls out. The screenshots are amazing. Where am I to find this? I'm in your Discord. It's in a uh, fucking. It's in general, dude. Or it's in. Uh, I posted it in bot right. commands. Never mind. All right, you are the SEC. So if you guys don't know, that's like Auburn, LSU, Bama, stuff like that. Tennessee's on here. LSU, LSU. There's like eight players from LSU in the top of the draft. Awesome. You have Georgia too. What I have, just so I don't get anything wrong. Boston College, Syracuse, Clemson, NC State, Wake Forest, Louisville. Florida State, Virginia Tech, Pitt, Duke, Miami, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, and UNC. So, yikes. I don't know why I agreed to this. Uh, wait, let me check this out. So, do you know that eight of the top ten are from SEC? That's great. <laughs> great. And the other two are not ACC. I got a guy at 22. There we go. And it is, I'll definitely miss somebody, too, because I'm just stupid. Yeah, it happens. Not that people care, but it happens. They definitely do. You don't, you don't know. Well, that's Florida A&M. Hmm. This strong arm is not as good as the one we saw last time. But you'll have to check out Crow's video for that. <laughs> don't forget. All right, well, I'm done with the points, and I got through 11 people. Yeah, the top three guys are, uh, the top three running backs are all ACs, or should be all SEC. And this guy, Bryant Wimper, is, that's the noise I'm going to be making at the end of this. I'm going to be, I'm going to have a whimper, like a dog, because this will not go well. Ooh, I'm zero on three as well. Fuck you. <laughs> it should be called, it's impossible for him to lose. But he still did, question mark? <laughs> That'd be wild. 
All right, sorry I'm taking so long, but I've got to go through a lot here. The top two it's fullbacks are from Bama, and then Georgia, and then Ole Miss. <laughs> and then Texas A&M is in the SEC now. And Florida. Yeah. You see, it's hard because I only got through 12 people in the first round. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, I didn't really get through much. I'm going to get fucking boned here. Uh, two Auburn running backs being the first two in the first round. There's North Carolina. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was a disaster. <laughs> but I'm 2 and 1 as well. The Dolphins by the way undefeated. Oh, that's ready to I want to force. Oh, really? Let's see. What do you think? Are they going to beat us? Ah, uh, yeah. No. Oh, we won our first game. We beat the Browns after being 0 and 3. Wait, you don't have any carrying though. These guys are not good. Like, you're sitting there saying, oh, you've got all these running. They're not good players though. That's just, all of them you're just getting unlucky. My players, like, they all also suck. They're just like, I don't know, harder to find. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, there you go. You got an undrafted running back there, Jordan Todd, Florida State. Great. I checked him out. He's as bad as you'd expect him to be. I'm, I'm happily, uh, or have to end up drafting him probably. Yeah, maybe. Um. Well, at least I have plays for every round now. All right, well, I am done for this week. Fuck you. I've seen like eight Ohios. How is that even possible? <laughs> Not Ohio State, Ohio. What is that I a know, thing? That's what I was saying. It's right, like, it's really dumb. They're just like, oh, this guy's got A plus everything. Let's randomize the college. All right, Beth Cookman it is. <laughs> Bethune Cookman, we've seen. I said the top centers are, uh, fuck. The top centers are all Big Ten, so that would have worked out better on your channel. You you said, and you were damn right, that now as soon as we need something else, it's not going to pop up and popped up in the other one. Now we're going to see all Big yeah. Ten stuff like that. Wait, did you simulate this in? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, it glitched out. I didn't have my, my points for whatever reason. I wish it stayed that way. Mm. Okay, you're not bad. Dude, how many Ohios am I going to see? This is unbelievable. The, the Ohio is not an exporter for NFL talent. <laughs> Maybe they are. <laughs> no. Ridiculous. Yeah. See yeah, a million see a Idaho's. <laughs> Nevada. I saw, of, I saw a lot of Idaho's last bloody draft too. That's why I was saying. That's why I asked you. Is Idaho in the Big Ten by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of UABs in the first round or second. Really? That's incredible, actually. Um. Yeah, the, <laughs> Ohio, the best left guard in the in the entire draft, Dude, and backed up by two Virginias. I was really banking on there being a lot of Clemson and Florida State, and there just has not been. So we're in a rough spot for sure. <laughs> oh, I've seen so much Big Ten. All right, draft time. I went twelve and four. Great. <laughs> I'm going to have one of the best records in the NFL. Open. Crows has one of the worst. Crow picks at number... Five. 
Oh, you're the Raiders. That's right. All right. Next user pick, it'll take me right to five. I think so. It sure will. All right. There goes an 81 out of LSU. You get out of here. Okay. Draft board. Let's check it out. Um. There's there's almost too much here. Shut to up. Be honest, like not in a not in a like a you know. I kind of want to get this wide receiver just because he does look amazing. Uh, B plus release, B minus D route, C plus catching, so not the greatest. But he runs a four two four, which I find very interesting. At six, At six Rayshon one. Tally. Oh wow. I kind of just want him because if he speaks, he, he's, you know? he has the fastest forty, their second fastest forty ever. Well, let's go ahead and take him then. He turns out to be a seventy-nine star, ranked eighth in true talent, and 97 he has ninety-nine speed. speed. Ninety-nine, okay. 90, <laughs> Ninety-six acceleration as well, so not bad. Wow, what's his true talent? Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah, I'm not not beating that. <laughs> Oh, there goes Desmond Shivers out of Florida State. He would have been probably my pick if my tackle was off the board, and he is. So, great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with a left guard out of Virginia, I think. Is that really my best option? <laughs> I guess. I mean, all right. Uh, this is not... He's not going to be... That's good. Pearson Gaston out of Virginia. Decent top three skills. He is a 75 overall. Star development, which I'll take. He's ranked number 58 in the class. So, Ooh. so what am I, only 50 away? <laughs> this is unfair. Solid. Yeah, this is this is really not fair at all. I'm going to turn it around in the end. Did you give me the SEC? I'm going to turn it around. Uh, all right, well, I have... No SEC players in the second round. Oh, that's a lie. But they're not good. The ones that are here. Um, this quarterback from Tennessee. A throw power. You know, I feel like it would be a very John Gruden thing to do to take another quarterback. Despite having Derek Carr. You know, so let's go ahead and take this guy. He turns out to be a 77 quick development. 22nd in true talent. Watch out, Derek Carr. Chase Sipnewski. Oh. Interesting. Raiders have a, uh, a knack for drafting Newskis. If you remember, Stefan was Newski, current Eagle, former Raider. Hey, Bengal, look at that guy there from the previous pick. He can't be 22 years old. There is no way. He looks about he looks 22. about 60 or so. <laughs> I know. What? That's wild. All right, draft board. I have uh, four players on it. Let me look at my actual just scouted though. Hold on, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip into the third round right now because it's my best option. It's gonna be Trey Holt out of Duke. He's a power back, four five one speed, pretty good for six two two thirty five. A minus carrying, B break tackle, B minus trucking. Come on, Trey. Mmm, not quite. He's a seventy three overall. He's ranked uh, at number one twelve. In the class and he is unusable as a player in game so that's <laughs> that's fantastic unusable. unusable he's slow he can't spin or juke he's not even particularly good at trucking basically anything you'd so want in a player he just doesn't really have it so he's the guy that comes on the field and the quarterback tells him where to stand and he's just like, give me ball. You know, you're you're like, actually a step further, which you're thinking he actually gets on the field, which would never happen. <laughs> he's terrible. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Uh I don't want to take my fourth rounder yet. I feel like I'm gonna need him for next round. Let's go ahead and take Parker Holsey out of Ole Miss. Uh, doesn't have a great combine. Doesn't have a great top three skills, but you know we've we've got room to play around here. Seventy five overall, forty first in true talent. What is with these picks, dude? You've taken every player inside the top forty. It's not fair. Oh, hold on, this is not my pick. 
How do I get an extra third? We're gonna we're gonna simulate it. We're gonna act like it doesn't count because it doesn't. Um, that was a mistake. Doesn't matter. It, it's not like it matters. So here's our actual third round pick. And um, you know what? Actually, we got a decent player here. Oh, we got we got two to choose from. I think I'm gonna go this one though. Out of BC. Hmm. This is a this is a kit punter who's projected to go in the fourth round. I might not. A punter. Uh, I can't. I can't take a punter. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Curry Hoover out of BC. He doesn't look that good. He's not gonna be in the top forty anyway. He's a seventy three overall at number one twenty two. So I'm pretty consistent. I think I've been all in the 120 so far for the most part. I think I had 112, yeah. 120, 121 or two or whatever. So uh, yeah, great, great. Damn. All right, well, all of my fourth round has got taken. Good, good well, to hear. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll manage though. We have quite a few fifth rounders here. Ah, uh, well... The Ole Miss center, Nicholas Newton, he actually has 36 reps in his first. He looks good. Very good. So good as well, I might take him. Turns out to be a 75. Nicholas a Nutton star. and your mother. Oh, that was good. That was a great one. Thank you. Uh, he's ranked 51st. In true Stop. <laughs> this is annoying. Uh, this is rules. I have to let you know, man. I hate you. Now my kicker's gonna be gone, my puncher. And there goes Dontavious oh, no. Bankston out of Miami. Oh, he's actually he's available. So too. Ross Brennan out of Pitt. He's projected to go in the fourth round, and he's a punter. He's gotta be good. Uh he's a 75 overall. What was your what did you say? 51? 51. 46. We're on the board. <laughs> We're on the board with a punter. Yeah. Ross Brennan. Let's see. He has a 93 kick power. 86 accuracy so pretty good so there's actually a chance then well, de definitely there is a chance well you got the first three right there. i took the four i was losing but then i found this punter <laughs> question mark question mark question mark you're wild okay so i don't the thing the problem here is i don't have any uh plays left oh, so okay. I'm going to have to basically, um, yeah, they, these guys aren't good. Uh, I'm going to take Herschel Jennings. He, he's not, okay, I'm just going to take him. There's no need to explain. <laughs> uh, he's 72 overall, 131 in true talent. So your entire draft has beat this guy. Question is, can you do it again, though? The Answer. 120 is what you need. Probably not. Let's look at it. Scouted. Uh, so I have a fourth rounder who's projected to go in the sixth. So that is my, pretty much my best option here. So love to see that. I will say we're going to go with Jesus Grady out of Florida State. B minus power right, move, B minus to... pursuit. <laughs> you might have to sim to your pick first. Okay. So you know he's actually there. No, I'm just, I'm just saying like for future reference. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. What if that was him? <laughs> He's not going to be good. He's a six-round projected player, and he really is my best option. So, um, Jesus Grady, out of Florida State, welcome to the team. Ooh. Interesting. He's a 72 overall. What did you say your true talent was? 131. 129. I beat no you by way. two. You by two. Wow. That's Thank cool. Thank the Lord Jesus, Grady. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try that one. Second to bask in the greatness of that joke. Yes, thank, thank you. There's another SEC right, well, player, even though it's trash. I'm probably gonna have to go to the scouted myself here. Um, a little bit worried. Not gonna lie. There's there's not many players left. Uh, as you would guess, all the good SEC players would have been gone in the first three rounds. Mm. Maybe four. Um, and right now I'm in a situation I don't want to be in. You took the first three uh, rounds. I got the next two. If you take this one, 
you win, right? No matter what. So I'm away. So this is a big. I'm pick. gonna put my faith in the Alabama middle linebacker. Okay, they've had some good There's ones no over the years. CJ Mosley. Pass coverage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take him. This is the best I'm going to get in the sixth round. Oh, that definitely isn't the best. That's a nice overall. Round. Javery Chavu? Chavis? What are your name? <laughs> Chavu. Hey, you never know, man. What if he's from he Louisiana? He's got a French last name. Chavot, maybe. He goes to Alabama. He does He does look like Tony Parker in the, the little picture of him standing. Anyway, he's 188. 188 that's that's like not unbeatable but that's pretty high at this point in the sixth round that's going to be tough to beat i think restrictions okay so scouted oh it's not good it isn't good <laughs> i'm gonna have to go with an undrafted player malik rodriguez out of unc he's not fast terrible combine his top three skills are okay what do i have to beat one eight one nine 188. 188. 188, I believe. All right. Malik Rodriguez, 71 overall, ranked number 145. No way. In the draft. Dude, this is bull crap. We there are bringing no it back. This is happening. So we are, what, all tied up? Three yeah, to three. three. And it all comes down to the final seventh round as Teddy Zamedes out of Western Kentucky goes. 75 overall in the seventh is pretty good. But so question we might is, have can Crow beat it? We might have an interesting little thing here. There's two kickers left. Well, there's four kickers, but two of them are from respective ACC and SEC. Bradley oh, yeah? Bubin out of Auburn and Christopher Norrath out of Florida. Well, Florida is a uh, SEC. I know. I know. I was... <laughs> I know. You're a dickhead. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> you seem you know everything. Okay, so this kicker, Bradley, because I've got nobody else left on the draft board, and anybody there I don't want to take. He's first in everything but broad jump, but who gives a crap? He's a kicker. He's 70 overall, and this is very beatable as well. Mm. 167. In that, that's, that I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's pretty good. Oh, man. Okay. It all comes down to this. Can we capitalize on the reverse sweep for the win? <laughs> this is it. It would be the reverse sweep, and that would be such a way to lose. Just saying. It what do doesn't we, get any worse than that. What do we have here? We don't really have anything in terms of any value. Jordan Todd ran a 47640. That's horrific. <laughs> They're all so bad. <laughs> oh, is this undrafted too? This has to be. Oh, it's, it's all undrafted. undrafted. Huh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I think with a fullback. I think it's my best option, my best bet. Deshaun Bailey out of Miami. I gotta beat what? 167. Yeah. Come on, Deshaun. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 199. Quick development. No uh The reverse sweep is no good. No good. That would have been... What a comeback. Probably... Yeah. He's 69, though. He was only one yeah, nice. overall less. Nice. 80 speed, 79 lead block. He's actually pretty good for what I would want. I would, You know, a run blocking fullback with good speed. He looked good. He had good strength and good speed. And quick but development, too. Fun. Yeah, not, not bad. Just not good enough today. So... That's going to do it, guys, pretty much here. We'll, uh, we'll advance to the end of the draft and and see where uh, everyone stacks up, see if we missed any players. Yeah, have a Gerns, as the kids would say. Would they? I don't what, know. I what, did you, that up. what did you say? <laughs> have a Gerns, mate. So Roman okay, Baxter out of LSU that? was the best, but you, you wouldn't have been able to take him. This was not a very high overall draft class, to be fair. Well, would you look at that, though? Two LSU wide receivers back-to-back. -back. I still think Rayshon Talley was better, though, considering 
six one ninety nine speed. Yeah, this one is uh. Oh, he's ninety seven ninety eight. Yeah, and he's superstar dev. And do you, look at his his agility is ninety seven. No, he's what? pretty amazing too. Yeah, this was can't miss. The the right tackle that I wanted to take that I couldn't was an eighty one overall, by the way, and would have beat you. So that's that's <laughs> what, great. George Aldridge. Oh yeah. So uh, real happy about that. But look at this, though, Cedric. Kurt. Like, look at all these SEC players back to back. Bama, LSU. A lot of Ohio's there back to back. Actually, if you go to eighteen and nineteen, bangers. Mhm. Mm back to back Ohio offensive linemen. They yeah, that's ridiculous. Those. I yeah, missed out on like I mean, every good player that I would have drafted. It's very unfortunate. That was fun though. There hasn't been. Yeah, that that was a really good episode. I was close. I, I was close. Say. Uh, any closing thoughts other than that? Uh, not really, other than if you want to check out the Big Ten. Yeah, versus the Big, Big Ten 12, versus Big 12. You know Crow's it. channel. Top line of the description to his channel. His video will be uploaded probably exactly at the same time as this one. So, you know, oh, welcome yeah. to the Matrix or something. I don't know. That's going to do it for me, guys. It's going to do it for Crow. Uh, I, that wasn't really a, a word of whatever. It doesn't matter. Take it easy. See you later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's never going to be a clean outro. Never. That's the no, outro, that like right that here, by the way. Fun. This is the actual outro. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. just, just so you, See know. you guys. Yeah. <laughs>